brothers and sisters, you see, you see what what the the representative of the Shura Committee has just said is true. And honestly speaking, responsibility in Islam is a very heavy burden. It's a burden that people that really know try to run away from. You see, somebody was telling me that maybe I was outside, that I'd been nominated. I just kept quiet. You know, ordinary, ordinary, I would have rejected, I would have said no, I would have resisted, and the outgoing Amir can testify to this. I was telling someone, at the local organizing committee, we did our best, and to be fair to Manon Jibril, that ultimately has been asked to shoulder the responsibility, he was amongst us, and we did our best to convince them to please continue with this responsibility at least for some time. Pending when, because it's our collective agreement of the LOC that we sincerely believe ultimately the leadership of this forum should be on people that are resident in the UK, not students that come and go within 12 months or at most three years. It's our firm belief, and we also believe strongly, that is one of the programs that the incoming ESCO should pursue with all energy. They should be able to go around, meet those of us that are resident in this country, try to convince them, try to sell the idea to them, try to show them the importance of having people that are, have this semi-permanent status here to take these responsibilities. Because they know more about this country, they are more established, and they can therefore shoulder more responsibilities, greater than students that come on. So that is why I really sympathize with uh, Dr. Jamil, but I also want to, what I will say, comfort him. Just please, let us try to respect the decision of the Shura. They took a long time to discuss this. And as I said, I would have rejected this also, honestly. But the point is, you need to give what you can, so long as you can do that. And I feel, well, I should be able to also contribute. So I will assure him, please, that we will do our best to support him. And having been in this position sometimes back is an asset that could also be used. And we were discussing with another brother that how we wish this is the way the Nigerian leadership is chosen. How we wish. Because, inshallah, if you, the Prophet said, an imara or leadership is amana or trust from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you ask for it, then Allah wa kalallahu uh, wa kalallahu la Allah will leave you with it. Go and manage and you cannot succeed. But if you have it trust on you, then Allah will help you. So inshallah, Allah will help. Isn't he subhanahu wa ta'ala? And I again comfort my brother, Dr. Daniel, please uh, take it in good faith. And I know, be isn't Allah ta'ala, we will sit, discuss, and do our best to support you. And with the knowledge that all of us here are behind the committee, and that what I just want other brothers and sisters to kindly take home is please let us not think that when we exit this hall, 
then everything remains responsibility of the executive council. Because that is one of our major problems. We should always be ready to answer the call of the executive members, committee members, to do one thing or two in our locality or as groups to take this association forward, to influence for the better the lives of people, whether here or especially back home. We have a catalog of problems, but the good thing is in life, if you can do something little, do it. When you do that, then be easy on life to Allah. By the time an opportunity comes for you to do big, you'll be able to do it. But if you fail to do the little that you can do at a time, then even when the opportunity comes for you to do it in a big way, you cannot do it. This is why it is financial, moral, or whatever. So please, I'm doing two things. To comfort our brother here and to pray that, inshallah, it will be success. And to again implore all of us here to give our contribution. Please and please. And contact business like Allah should be maintained. With this, I hope and pray that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to carry this burden and successfully. I pray that we maintain this bond of brotherhood and relationship throughout our stay here and especially back home. With this, I pray for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us aright, accept our good deeds, forgive our shortcomings.